So so sometimes I'll watch um, a movie and actually want to cry, you know, because I because I want to I want to feel the story really deeply. Um, because I guess I'm just I guess I'm just I just like being in touch with that 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 amount of sincerity and genuine just nature. Were you able to? Yeah. It's just like the, you can't, I have the inability to cry. I can't cry anymore. I haven't cried over something sad in a, in a long time and I definitely... Oh, whether it be on just an emotional level or not, like, I know, I know what you're saying. You're saying you just want to be in touch, like, period. Yeah. But no, like, I just, I, I don't... Like, even when my grandmother died, I don't, I don't think I really cried. Yeah. Um, until long, until a while after the funeral. And I wanted to feel it, and I just wanted to be there in that feeling. It's a stress reliever, but it's also like a, um, it can make you ex very exhausted. So, like, if you've been staying up from, you know, something stressful, something sad, anything like that, then, you know... Once you cry, once you you know let it all out, then you become exhausted and you'll be able to sleep. But they actually performed a study. They took somebody who was crying under circumstances of them actually being sad from an event or you know circumstance whatever, and put the teardrops in the test tube. And then they took the teardrops um, and put from a subject that they had in the same experiment that was cutting onions, which is why they maybe cut onions and put it in a test tube as well. And they, um, they, you know, tested both of them, and it actually did not have the same, the same chemical structure within it. Like, one of them had hormones in them, and, which is the one that, you know, was from the sadness and everything, and it had a certain chemical structure that was actually showing that it was relieving stress. And that they were, not necessarily stress tears, but they were relieving stress. And the other one was just simply, you know, it's like... It's like perspiration, but from your eye, basically. It's just like, there's nothing in it. It's just water. It's liquid. You're not bottling shit up, but you, you're not you're not relieving it in ways that, you know, you're meant to naturally, like the way that, you know, the body's built to relieve stress. So you're, you're going to end up doing it, but you're going to end up doing it in a worse way. Or not necessarily a worse way, but a much different way that could end up being far worse. So that's why, you know having, you know, not the condition, but the circumstance that I have of not being able to, we need to figure out what's going on or a way that I can relieve stress without, you know, without crying because obviously I can't do it anymore. Like, <laughs> you know, I feel that pressure and that build up behind my eyes, like I was saying, but, and I can feel sad, but it just won't happen.